Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to reuse a portion of uh, reactive form in Angular. I already made a very similar video before. And the reason I'm making this new video is that I think this video is much shorter and clearer. Um, so first, what is a reusable com form component? So this top portion, we have form array. Um, we add a new user, click add a new user, add a new user, you can see name gender is being used again and again and again. You can delete them. So you want to create a separate template just for this name and gender. So the second scenario we're using this name gender form portion is you have two independent user forms. One is your skill form, one is your hobby form, but both forms want you to input a name and gender. So you can build them into a separate template so you can manage them better. Later, you want to add another field, you can just go to that single template and every form, the skill form, the hobby form, will have new properties. So the basic idea is that you want to use reuse this name and gender repeatedly, sometimes as an array, sometimes as the same template portion in separate forms. So let's see how we do it in Angular. So the first step I did is create a service. And this service will return a form group, so name and a gender. So I want to create the underlying data, the form group first. So get user form, it returns name and gender, form group. So this service, once imported, can be used by anybody. Now let's take a look at the array example. So this form array, what happens is that uh, it has an user array, which is a new form, a blank form array. And whenever you click on add a user, it will cause that form factory service, which generates a new user form. So every time you click the plus button here, it will generate a new user form. Yeah. So that's how it is done. Now you have the user form, but you need a template. So what I did is that I generate a new template. It calls name gender template. So this guy has an input field. So it gets its input form group from its parent. So it has an input. So this component is very simple. In the template, we have this name and gender. And the form control is called input form group controls.name. So it gets its control from its parent. So this is the template here. We use again, again, and again. So this portion is just two fields. It's a form it's a component and it gets a form control a form group from its parent component from this guy so these two this single line gets a form group from its parent so the parent component and template is very simple let's take a look at the form array so every time you click on the plus button as i mentioned here you click on add user it will call that service to get a new user form the to get a new form controls form group actually get a new form group then i use the loop for you of user array dot controls index as i so every member of that user group user array i will just render that um, app name gender the template component again again and again if i have three users i'm going to render this three times and of course i need to pass this input form group this intake the child expecting a form group from me and I will just use this U. And of course, the U, a form array can have a child as a form control, another form array or form group. So here I'm telling you this U is actually a form group. So I use the first time cast daughter any U, which means, okay, this form control is in this form child from this form array is abstract control is indeed a form group. Yeah. And then there's a button uh, to actually uh, delete the guy. Yeah. So that's this part. Add user, add user, delete user, delete user. Yeah. So let me just recap. I create a factory function in the service, which returns a user form group, form group, and it is imported in my form array. So my form array import this form factory service, and whenever I click a plus button, it add a new user. And that added a new user is passed to this an app name gender component template. Yeah. So I can render this same template again, again, and again. It is very similar for that uh, 
other option where you want to use this same portion multiple times on two different forms. Almost the same. So here we have the skill form. It gets a form factory service. You get one of those form group. Then in your template, you just render that uh, same guy. Yeah. So here, app name gender, you pass that uh, user form group to that child, and then you're done. Similarly, for that hobby template, you pass your form group to your child, and you're done. So this is extremely simple. Okay, that's the video for today. Thank you.